Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Stormtroopers 4 pack and in this video I do have my son Little Bosk with me he's desperate to be on this video I think it's probably because he wants to steal the Stormtroopers at the end of the video but we'll see what happens with that anyway let's take a look at the packaging first of all so this is a new style packaging you may have seen a review I did a couple of weeks ago of the Rebel Fleet Troopers which I actually ordered after this set but for some reason in the UK these ones were delayed and I'm hoping it's because they've sorted out a quality control issue. Now some of you may have seen some other reviews of these or some pictures on Instagram where the stormtroopers had dodgy paintwork on their helmets and all that kind of stuff. The lines on the helmet and the eyes were all off so I'm hoping and praying that mine are going to be okay because there may be a later release and they sorted all that out but we'll have to wait and see. But here's the box. What do you think of the box little Bosk? I think it looks really cool. It's similar to the rebel fleet trooper one. It is, yeah. Same sort of style, these army builder boxes. Um, and what do you think of the artwork on there? Do you like that? I really like it, but the Red Pauldron Stormtrooper has a big gun on the box, but I don't know if that actually is included. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see when we open these up. Obviously, usually Stormtroopers come with the Stormtrooper Blaster, but you're right, the uh, captain or sergeant whatever he is inside there with the orange or red pauldron we'll have to see what that looks like inside as well um, he does hopefully come with that sort of longer blaster rifle uh, the box is very similar as little boss said to the rebel fleet trooper pack you have the vintage collection logo on the side and on the back of the box you have another image of the four stormtroopers that are included and this to me does show that hopefully this guy will come with that different weapon there side of the box has just got all the language stuff on the side and a load of warning and that is about it but you've got the name pill there of stormtroopers and if you're an army builder this is going to be perfect for you rather than buying you know four stormtroopers on a card plus the vc 140 is a pretty hard figure to get so anyway let's open the box up and check them out okay so very much like the rebel fleet troopers inside the box these are packaged as so obviously minimizing the use of plastic so all of the figures are wrapped in like tissue paper and we have this piece of cardboard here that you remove there and then we can get all of the figures out so i'm going to get all the figures now set them up and then we can check them out all right then so here they are out of the packaging and first of all let's talk about the quality issues of the stormtroopers on mine i think i've got three hits and one miss these are the three hits i can't really see too many issues about this one this one ever so slightly the uh, stripe on the head there is a little bit too high or it's a little bit too wonky but only ever so slightly um, if we look at the captain or the sergeant he does have an orange pauldron not red as the box suggests and I think the paint on that guy is pretty good. His eyes are straight, the nose band is straight, the paint on the mouth is straight. That's a nice black thick line on that one. So that one's pretty good. This one, again, is pretty good. Maybe that does raise up ever so slightly, but that one again is passable. I don't think you can complain too much about that one. So I feel that we've got three decent stormtroopers there out of the packet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly bring in, this is the Rogue One Stormtrooper VC-140 and what I've noticed is that the new ones are a lot brighter white. Now this could be because of the age of this one but I do remember when I reviewed this one that the body and the helmet was a slightly different white to his arms for example. So I already thought that this one potentially could have a yellowing issue. Now these ones are absolutely gleaming white so I'm just going to plonk him there because you'll probably, hopefully, be able to see the difference anyway. These ones are definitely a lot whiter than this one. Now, on to the ugly duckling of the four stormtroopers. And Little Bosk wants to tell you about this one. The paintwork is the worst of the four and he seems to have two left hands. Yeah, uh, Little Bosk spotted that straight away when he was trying to put the blaster in his right hand. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, just you know quickly look at the paintwork on the helmet that is definitely the worst of the four the stripe raises quite high up there and is quite thin it's not as good as the other three that is for sure but um, as I said three out of four I guess isn't too bad when you consider some of the others that I've seen on Instagram and everything with some really really shoddy paintwork so maybe they have sorted that issue out however as little boss said we do have a stormtrooper 
with two left hands. So you have the hand there. And if you see this one, there you go, his thumb's upside down. So that is a bit of a shame. Not a lot we can do about that. If we go around the back there, the paint works decent. Not too much to say. There's no sort of overspray or anything like that. So that's all good. So there you go, a Stormtrooper with two left hands. Um, I, I have seen other examples of this happening. Didn't think it was gonna happen to me, but there you go. So there we go, right in front of you there, we have the four Stormtroopers from the Army Builder Pack and the original VC-140, who for me, looking at these, I'm not too sure if you can pick it up on camera, but he is definitely a different tone of white. Um, and as I said, I don't think it's an age-related thing where he's starting to yellow because I think he's always been like that. So if that's something that they've improved and they're making them more gleaming white, then that is great. But of course, when you buy a set, you do hope that they all have the correct limbs and, you know, two left hands, what are you going to do? But in terms of the weapons and the blasters, Little Bosk was right. You do get two of the blaster rifles and four of the normal Stormtrooper blasters, which is pretty cool. So you can see the, the other one is there that little Bosk has posed for you. So there you go then guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you have picked up this Stormtrooper pack and let me know in the comments what the quality was of yours. Did you have any issues with the hands or the legs or anything like that? This one as well. I don't know whether his leg is shorter. This leg is shorter than the other one or not. I think it's just maybe something to do with the hip articulation that I haven't sorted out on that one. But um, that one seems to not sort of be too level. But all in all, I'm really pleased because, of course, it is a great way of being able to get multiple Stormtroopers instead of having to buy lots of single carded figures, which were tough to get anyway. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So there you go then, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated. So there you go then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.